Hey guys, hope everything is going well. You guys know that drill. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below. All right, uh, I wanted to look at this on Forbes.com and I saw it earlier and I thought that I'd probably post it for Saturday morning. The IRS delays for a year, onerous, uh, onerous $600 form, 1099K reporting threshold. And this is really important because in previous years, if you can see in the article at the below, down below, the rule was if you had two, over $20,000 in payments and over 200 transactions, then you had to submit a form to the IRS. Now, this was supposed to go into effect. And thus, uh, a lot of people were scared of selling or didn't want to or wanted to deal with cash. And there could have been some hanky panky going on, right? But this new reporting standard is going to delay this until the next year. So people are going to then understand, Hey, um, this is what needs to be done. Better record keeping needs to be taken place. Now, if you live in the uh, people's Republic of Illinois, like I do, from my understanding, if we have over $600 in sales, we're going to have to report some sort of tax to the state of Illinois. And that's just unfortunate, but that's just the rules of Illinois. Now, from I believe from a federal perspective, uh, we don't need to, we could still follow that $20,000 threshold. So I just wanted to um, comment on that aspect. Now, this is probably going to be a sigh of relief for some of the companies out there, maybe the PayPal's of the world, the Mercari's, and the list goes on and on and on. So this is good news. Now, for next year, I think all you guys and gals need to brush up on the tax law, keep detailed transactions and I think people that sell at shows that use Venmo, you got to keep your records straight because I've heard stories of how business owners, they wait till the last minute and they don't know how to reconcile their books. Now, I was behind on reconciling my wife's business account, and that's because we've just been swarmed with a lot of work. You know, on my days off, I'm actually working on her accounting work now. So yeah, it's, you know, I just finished, you know, and it's a Friday night and then just one more month of catch up. And then I do December in January and then I could close the books. So record keeping is very important. Now in terms of price action, I don't think this will make any significant change on price action. You know, me, how I, this is my favorite indicator. I'm going to look at it again. 10 year tips, right? Uh, hey, when it does this, uh, 10 year tips. Let's go here, right? So this is the most important chart. In my opinion, I always look at it in terms and look at it against gold. So as you realize, the market just crashed significantly on the high end from early this year to right about now, as this yield went significantly higher from negative to positive. Now I think we're going to go to positive to negative. So some people may attribute, hey, look, uh, this reporting situation is going to help people out. Uh, I don't really think so. But... Once again, this is good news for people that didn't know what was going on from a tax perspective, and we could start from a clean slate next year, make sure to take better records of what the cost of whatever you're acquiring and then if you're selling, you know, 
keep a good spreadsheet on hand, right? Or take detailed notes because what if you get audited in the future? And I believe they're going to come after the middle class in the years to come. Some people thought that I was making a political statement. I'm like, no, I'm not making a political statement. I'm just telling you the way that I see it. And this is just a good thing that we got one more year before all this comes down the pipeline. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this. What do you think about the IRS delaying this for the next year? Anyways, guys, remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below, guys. Thank you. Bye.